or do they have to sell anything at all? Is it up to governments? Well, you know, let's just take delayed fertility advantage. It's such an amazing concept. It's this idea that, you know, because of stem cell technology that you can get from your cheek, your biological clock for a woman can now be pushed off maybe 30 or 40 years, or maybe even hundreds of thousands of years. The idea that a 70 year old woman can now very easily have a child in probably two or three years time because we just take the stem cell, we insert it into an egg, then we create this, a sperm cell as well. One person create both sperm and egg now just because of stem cells. You know, this is, a, this is such a wild concept. It completely redefines procreation. It redefines even the ideas of marriage and having children. So we're entering this crazy time when it's very hard as a scientist or a philosopher to talk about these things without scaring everybody to death. Because all, honestly, if you have any kind of traditionalism in your viewpoint, you're going to be like, wow, this is out there. But what's happening is this is not out there. This is one, two years away three years away we're coming to a very radical time when the evolution of technology and the evolution of science is literally changing the nature of what it means to be a human being and um there's very you know like last year in china they had the very first genetically enhanced child that was born i mean we're coming to a point when they're going to try to augment intelligence and let's say australia and america for example were a bit more conservative we don't want to move forward with some of these technologies but china moves forward well now you have a generation of chinese babies that are born with super intelligences where we because maybe we've been more conservative don't how does that affect geopolitics how does that affect the the future of the world we it's coming so fast that the most important thing to do right now is is discuss the issues and try to make sound choices so that we don't get it left behind and we can kind of move together as a, as a world, as a globe, in, in kind of ethical tandem steps.